this month we have a singles tournament scheduled with AEW. So that's interesting. All right, we will get... Oh, man. that That's bad news. Um, Kiji Muto, a.k.a. the Great Muta, uh, was one of the hidden wrestlers that I had uh, imported, if you will. And because he's still going, I, I know he's got a few matches scheduled, I think, through the beginning of the year 2023. And so he was out there as like a surprise wrestler. And he is signed with KOG. Maybe we can invite him to come over, but I was, even though he's not strong style, or I don't believe he is, I was really hoping to get him in Dream Championship Wrestling. Okay, and this is big news here. Our first scout, I actually forgot all about this. A Mr. Question came back. He found Jack. Let's negotiate a contract with Jack. Who is Jack? Uh... So we need to go to them, okay. Human Resources Scout Offer Contract, okay. Before we do that, I already know one thing I need to do, and we're at our max capacity. We're gonna have to spend 30K and expand. And let's repair our sandbag. And we don't wanna go crazy. Uh, expenses are already racking up. Um, so, let's add a balance ball. All right. Little baby steps. Now, let's go to HR. Let's see who the heck Jack is. I don't know if they mean Jack Howard. But as far as I recall, Jack Howard's been hanging around here in the North American Free Agents the entire time so I don't know I mean if that's what Mr. Question is going to do then we'll go ahead and and release him that's not the kind of help I'm looking for but regardless we did increase the gym size we are ready to add additional wrestlers um, and probably sticking with we just, we want low cost. I mean, we could go with Sandman. I know he's hardcore. He's a tough son of a gun. And he is popular and he's cheap. He looks like he's going to be by far the cheapest North American. Maybe it's Apollo Cruz. He's 1-3. Sandman's also Apollo Cruz, who is a showman. So we could go with Apollo. Um, and again, even though he's a showman, he is a heck of a wrestler in terms of offense and defense. Um, carved out of granite, certainly would compete with Brian Cage in that category. So I don't know. I don't know. Should we do this? I mean, should I be adding somebody every single month or do I just hold off? Oh, Actually, you know what? Who was that that got Kiji Muto? It was KOG, wasn't it? Yep. So there he is, the great Muta. Um, yep. Certainly an older gentleman. I would have loved to have had him on the roster. Uh, maybe, and he is strong style. So maybe, maybe this next event, let's see if we can get the great Muta to come on over with an invite. Possibly. We'll see. But I want to go ahead and check AEW and WWE. See if anybody fell down to an E in trust. Again, I think there's an E. I could just be completely wrong. Um, Chris Jericho, he's on the list. What did you say? What did you say to me? No, no, right there. What did you say to me? You know what? You know what? You just made the list. Um, I had Chris Jericho, Claudio Castagnoli, and Bobby Lashley on the list. Let's see. What's Bobby? He's still a D as well. But to be honest with you, I don't see any E's. We 
probably would want to go with Claudio Castagnoli. He's not overly popular, but he's a very solid wrestler, and the price is right. Um, and I forget the way the popularity breaks down. I know the first letter is America. I think the next might be... Uh, from Claudio being from Europe, I'm assuming that the last category is Europe. So probably Japan is too. So he's not overly popular. But he, he's a very good wrestler. Let's see. Let's 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 for a thousand dollars. Let's sit down with Claudio. And Claudio, I'll tell you what. I normally don't go low ball, but he's been four months now as a free agent. Nobody else has picked him up. He's had one run with us, and he did win. I'm going to offer five k and see if he takes it. Okay, he's interested. I think if I come back with a 10. Now, the problem is that locks us out for the month of April. We can't offer any more contracts. So, um, let's quickly... take a look at our wrestlers. Um, I just want to make sure nobody's in the red. Charles Young, good condition. Brian, good Bray Wyatt, yeah, he's, he's suffered a significant neck injury. Um, we're probably going to go ahead and sit him out. So I need at least one invite. Rob is in good shape. Braun. Eric is poor as well, but he's not in the red. We can probably get one more match out of him. Uh, Rhino in good shape. And Bo Dallas, um, yeah, out of that long, brutal match. So that's funny. The rotundas are in a bad way. So, I think we're going to bench both rotundas. Um, we will invite two guys to the card. And I said we would check the promotion stats at the end of the quarter. I am just kind of interested in WWE and AEW. I don't recall. I'd have to go back to the very first episode. I think WWE has made money. And I think AEW has lost a little bit of money. And then just if we do a, a quick little search here, um, we have one champion, which is Braun Strowman. Um, SWA, really, again, we're consider or more looking for WWE and AEW. So AJ Styles is the heavyweight champion, Team Brock, that we touched on in the last episode. Uh, they are the six-man champions. And then AEW has yet to crown a heavyweight champion they have uh, junior tag champions, Sammy Guevara's team, and they've also crowned a six-man Team MJF. I don't know who that is exactly. Besides, we know that MJF is part of it. So let's look at our merch, branded snacks again. We we do about the same. We sell five, six hundred units a card. We'll dispose of those. Goods. We sold 200 something in the last card, so we're going to dispose of the goods. And then we're going to purchase a nice fresh stock. And we got to be mindful of these expenses. I think our terrible towels are certainly enough. Um, and then branded snacks. Has this cost us $2,000? We sell them for 10 each. And we're selling about 600, so yeah, it's certainly worth, certainly worth the investment. Okay, 52,000. Now we've got to invite two wrestlers to. We need two wrestlers. So, first place I'm going to start, of course, is Claudio. Okay, so we got Castagnoli again, and let's see who else would be a good fit. Who did we have before? We brought in somebody, the gentleman wearing glasses. Was he with another organization?
Maybe Eddie Owens. He looks like he would be inexpensive. Um, let's try Eddie. Okay. So much for Eddie. Oh, it was Goda. Let's try Goda again. We could put Goda against Castagnoli. Okay. Very good. Almost 60000 in expenses. Whew, we're going to need a big event here. Again, we're only going to have four matches. We're going to give the Rotunda Brothers a break. Let's get this card put together. Oh my gosh. So, opening match. Who should we use in the opening? Well, I tell you what, opening... Oh, see, there's the tough thing, though. I, I want to make sure, because if those guys bow out, the two of our invites, one of the two invites, then we are in big trouble. <laughs> the card is going to really flop and we are going to take a financial hit. So I don't want to put them in the opening match of the night. <sighs> I'll tell you what. Let's see here. So I think everybody in the promotion has at least one win besides Bray and Bo at this point. Oh, geez, geez, geez. Let's, let's open the card up with Eric Rowan. And I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'm going to go with Goda. And hope he accepts it, even though he's coming in opening match. Next match of the night, I'm going to go ahead and put our other invite in Claudio. And we'll match Claudio up with... Uh, do I want to put him in with the Monster Brian Cage? Decisions, decisions, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you what. Let's go with Rhino. Claudio Castagnoli and Rhino. Next match. Let's put our Monster Brian Cage. And let's see if... You know what? Let's do this. Rob Van Dam. We're going to change this. This is going to be Charles Young. And in the main event of the night, because he was so damn impressive in the first matchup, Brian Cage is going to get a title shot. And he's going to go against our champion, Braun Strowman, of course. Let's configure this. I mean, Brian Cage just came in and literally almost crippled Bray Wyatt, so he's going to get a title shot. Uh, Charles Young might be upset with that move. If Charles Young defeats Rob Van Dam, uh, putting him on a three-match win streak, then I think Charles would be the next one in line for a title shot. So let's confirm this. Let's proceed. And let's keep our fingers crossed. And I think we find out right after this screen if someone no-shows. Ooh, man, okay. We are set. So, again, we'll go through the last two minutes of each match. Enjoy, and I will be back with you here shortly.
All right, I'd say one hell of a card, a 92% average rating, a new heavyweight champion of the world, a back and forth affair. I mean, just a, a brutal a show of force. Uh, both guys, I hope, you know, either one of them can compete in the next card. They both took a beating. But Brian Cage, uh, with a 95% match rating, defeats Braun Strowman to become the new dream heavyweight champion of the world. Opening match of the night, Eric Rowan picked up win number two, match eval of 86 against our invite, Ryuji Goda. Then Claudio Castagnoli, another invited wrestler, comes in for a second time, picks up his second win in Dream Championship Wrestling. I'm thinking this is a guy that we're going to have to sign. 90% match evaluation. He defeats Rhino. Then in the co-main event, Rob Van Dam and Charles Young in another great matchup. 97% evaluation. And these guys went back and forth. High-flying, martial arts, spin kicks. It, it was crazy. But Rob comes out on top. So very, very happy with this card. Probably the best one. Average match eval of 92. Probably the best card we've put on to date. So there we go with Brian Cage as our new champion. This is a great success. It was a full house. The same guy told me that he was worried about this event uh, after the last event. Now he's all happy. So what are you going to do? But we packed in over 1,700 in this arena or in this gymnasium. Let's pick up on some news here. See if we have... Uh, anything AEW and WWE related. Edge and Roman Reigns, they are the new tag team champions in WWE. And I guess Brian Danielson is the junior heavyweight champion in AEW. Discern that, but we came out on top again. Um, Monthly balance of 57000 in terms of what we made for the month. We are getting closer and closer to 400 k in assets. Once we eclipse 400 k in assets, depending on what I think SL, Super Lucha maybe, I think they were at 400 k to start the game. Um, so that might put us in the 16th spot. We are currently ranked 17th. I don't know if there's a way to actually tell that or not. Nothing noteworthy happened. Hopefully the uh, Rotunda brothers as well have healed up. We'll just take a quick look into May. We're going to hold that off into the next card. Uh, Oni signed uh, Shoji. Shinbato was out all this time and was not able to find anybody. Oh my god, look at the news here. Brock Lesnar has left the WWE. He is a free agent. Wow. Um, I know he's expensive, but he could be the difference between wrestling in gymnasiums and getting us into halls because he is quite popular. Let's see what Brock is commanding in the open market. Go this way. He should be free agent America. Brock Lesnar. Man, I mean, he is worldwide appeal. He is a heavyweight title contender out of the gate. Uh, strong style. He checks all the boxes. Man, I'd love to get Brock Lesnar on this roster. But for Brock, it's going to be 1500 to sit down with him, which is fine. He's going to... I mean, we had our sights set on Claudio Castagnoli. But this news, this is big news. And we're going to stop it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in to the next episode to find out what happens with Brock Lesnar. And Dream Championship Wrestling, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Like the video. Leave us any sort of comment. Just love what you're doing. Anything like that's going to help the algorithm uh, with our channel and YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're going to see you next time. <laughs>